Hey, welcome back to the shop. I'm Dave and this is Nub Tools. This is the second installment of the building of my welding table. And in this video, we put some legs on the welding top that I did in the previous video. And if you have not seen that, you need to check it out. It's pretty nutty. I'll leave a link down in the description. But in this video, we build some, I build a heavy duty frame. I put my machinist hat on and apply it to a weldment. And it was tons of fun and I loved putting it together. And I can't wait to share it with you. So let's get to it. All right, so machining all the fits of this weld table frame is arguably unnecessary and a bit of a extra work that's not needed. But man, does it make me happy. I am just so happy with this weld table too. Uh, this also is kind of a good test to see how precise my holes are, these tubings are up against these stops. And of course, all CNC machined fits and corners. So they're pretty much dead nuts. And these precision one, two, three blocks are completely tight up against all four corners. No gap, no room, no wiggle. So super happy about that.
All right, so I got just about all the pieces I need to get started. These are my caster plates. They're gonna be pretty beefy. Pop some holes in those. And then these little uh, plates are going to be what the tabletop actually amounts to. So they'll get drill and tapped, the 3816 hole on all of those. There's 18 of them. And I'll machine these on the mill, get them looking good.
after finished welding out all those threaded pads on the top side, I was, I got the results I was kind of worried about and, but actually not too bad. The, all, all of the welds on the top side, you know, contracted the metal and made this arched just a hair, maybe about a 16th of an inch. And so I had a significant gap, well, about a 16th of an inch gap here, but this plate kind of has a little low spot in it anyways, in its natural state. So I put, I heated here and here to, on both sides to contract the metal to counter react the weld on the other side. And it moved and it moved really, really a little bit too much. I should have done one, one little stringer on each side and then waited to see, but it's pretty freaking good right now. And I'm thinking about just leaving it, but this thing is like really dang flat. Um, it's still pretty sinking hot, so it may look worse than what it's gonna be when it cools off. Let's see if you can see this gap here. I mean, it's, it's itty bitty. Maybe a 32nd of an inch. But that was actually the high spot, and now it's the low spot. So you can see how much heating and contracting that material right there pulled this down but I should have done just one so I'm gonna let it cool off just a little bit and make a decision whether or not I want to flip it over and put a little bit of heat around the other side of that tube but man I'm really afraid to mess with it all right let's see what happens Right now, after heating it, and it's really hot. It's raised up a lot, but that should come down pretty good. Now, when this tubing is actually flat, I will still have a little bit of a gap here because this plate is slightly bowed in the relaxed state. But I'll check. I'll check the tube with a straight edge. But man, should have left it alone. I mean, I shouldn't have done two two strips on the on the back side if I would have just done one I would have been it would have been a one and done this thing would have been like really flat I mean pretty dang flat but the overall weldment is I mean I'm really happy with it not not twisted um, this thing sat really really before I put these uh, threaded pads on this thing sat so good I mean it was it was rocking but I, I knew that all of this weld all of this weld on the top side was going to get this thing to you know curve like a banana I tried to put some back bow in it I think I showed that in some footage there uh, but I'm pulling against this plate and you know we want this to be stiffer than this so it, I just tried to put a little bit of pressure on it just to see if it help it but We'll see how it goes. Looks like we got a winner.
These are one of two sides. It's the legs. I absolutely love this welding table. It was so easy once I got it set up for the first one. To slap in the second one, everything was just jigged up and ready to go. Amazing. All right, after this, I'm going to make a cross member. And then I'll stick that sub-assembly and those other sub-assemblies all together. And I'll weld it out. All right. It's touching on all four corners. Woo! Very happy about that. So now that I got the two sides, I welded them off, off camera, and I just got them clamped down, and this top weldment, I just have it sitting on top right now, held down with gravity. Um, so I've got the final member already done. So let's throw that guy in there and get it all squared up and tacked together and we'll weld this part out. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, that pretty much does it for this video. I've got a little more welding to do, and I won't bore you with that. And I'll get this thing flipped over, finish, went, welded out. And on the next video, I'm going to build a storage cabinet in this space here and some accessory kind of like racks type of deal. Um, so this is plenty good for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, uh, do me a favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe to catch the next one. Until next time, take it easy.